All right, we're gonna do the escape room egg. I have already done the egg, but the video I did for it took a very, very long time because it's my first time doing it without really much help. So it took me a while, like 40 minutes, but this uh, guide or tutorial will, uh, or walkthrough, I guess, I don't have a lot of words to explain this kind of stuff. Um, will be very quick, maybe 10 minutes, I don't know, I could be wrong, depending on my loading times here. Of course, the only thing is just cutscenes and stuff, so that's why it might take a little bit longer than usual. But I'll try to explain most of the puzzles, you know, if you need help. So there is some RNG, so we got to really pay attention to uh, what you need to do. Like there's like some parts where like, you'll see it in my video, but it won't be the same on your side. So you gotta keep note of some stuff, but I'll explain that uh, when we get to that part in the puzzle. So of course, we just gotta complete the puzzle and we get our prize, which is the egg dini egg. Um, so we will just have to wait and get this cutscenes over, but um, it's pretty easy to do. It just takes a little long because it's their biggest map they've created. But, of course, if you just a certain part, you know, we just skip to the video and figure it out um, how it goes. I think the order I'm going to do the three puzzles is the tower, uh, the waterfall, and then the maze last. So if you're watching right now and you need help in those, you can just, you know, figure out the maze, I mean, the tower is, I'm going to do the tower first, then the waterfall, then the other part which is the maze, so just, you know, obviously one would be earlier the maze, you know, I'm, I can't really explain what I want to say, but, you know, I'm like, oh, what, what, okay, anyways, so we're going to go up these stairs, all right, our left doesn't only really matter, and we're going to go to this book over here, and it shows us this order of colors, so the yellow, green, blue, pink, white, so we're going to head on down here, we're going to do yellow, Green, blue, pink, white, and then we're gonna go, and that opens to over here behind this waterfall, a secret room, which has a long wooden cane. We pick up the long wooden cane, and we're gonna head on over to this lever, which we couldn't reach earlier, and we just click on it, and there we go, opens down this gate or fence, and when we click on this scroll, we have a riddle here, and the how to solve the riddle is that the e is, uh, the e is capitalized for a reason and when you when you do a horizontal uh, vertical you can see it spells out a word uh, escape because how the roto is really weirdly positioned but it spells one word so we're gonna head on over to the secret password and type in escape opens up the door all right next we have a little of a long walk to the next area just because well it is their biggest puzzle room so we're gonna head on over by this we have like increased movement speed just a little bit you kind of feel it you do walk a little bit faster than normal so another cutscene here but we're gonna do the three puzzles we do tower waterfall maze so we'll get those done I think it's going to show us, or I don't know what, I don't know if it's working correctly now, but it's just showing me nothing. I don't know what this is for. Alright, whatever. Let's keep, let's keep going. Yeah. Like, I mean, the map looks nice. It's just, you know, <laughs> don't really need all of this, but that's fine, I guess. Alright. If you walk in there early, you'll, you'll get slower and slower when you reach the middle, but of course, I don't even know. A maze, a tower, and uh, a waterfall. Yeah, yeah, we're not going in that order. We go from left to right. So we start with the tower. Tower is pretty easy to do. So tower is this way. So the puzzle with the tower is kind of funny and weird. Is that the gate is open here, but when you walk in front of these white circles or like sentries, they'll spot you and you can't. The door gate closes. But the whole thing is that you go to the left over here. There's a tunnel at the end or on the right, right at the wall here. You just follow it. 
basically. And what you want to do is, you know, it's pretty dumb, but I mean, I guess it makes sense. Just want to go above the door, basically. Make sure you're not spotted by anything. Door opens up, and just quickly jump into the door. And I guess that, that button's for, if this is a multiplayer map, just for people to come in if they don't want to do it. And so, now it's like, oh, what, what can I use this book? Because, you know, we use this book to look for letters, maybe some sort of secret, but nope, it's just this uh, hammer. We need to pick it up. And then we use the hammer on this glass here. And we pick this orb up. And this orb does, I don't know what this does, but I click on it a couple times. I think I click on the red orb. Okay. And then click on that, click on it again. Uh, I honestly, I don't know what I did, but it just, it just click on stuff. That's all. Actually, I don't know what it, I don't know what this is actually. I never actually figured out what you're supposed to do with this. Are you supposed to choose the right one? Oh, okay. Actually, don't know. I've never. I I guess I did it. I could just did it by accident. I think. Oh, this is troubling. I don't know which one it is. Which one is it? The third one, I think? This one could be random as well. I guess the third one. No? Alright, I, I thought I did this correctly, apparently. Apparently it's... I don't know how I'm supposed to, like... I guess I'm supposed to follow it when it does that. Second one? No. Sorry, I'll follow it, I guess. It's this one. I it's the third one, no. Oh, here we go. Okay, so you have to follow the red orb, basically. And then I'll change yellow, so you have to follow that one and then click on it. So, here's the RNG. So you have to you have to remember these this changes. So my number right now is uh, eleven. I think that's eleven, right? Yeah. So all you, all you have to remember is that th when you step on this spinny thingy, the Roman numerals is different for everybody. So you have to memorize three numbers. So mine is uh, what is this? This is uh, eleven. So that's one for me. Eleven. Now we're gonna do. Um, the waterfall. Now this one, I don't know like for sure, for sure, how to do it completely correctly, but if we head over here to the right, we'll find a magnifying glass around here. So we're gonna pick it up. And it says that maybe we can be useful for something, right? So I don't know where else I can be for this area but you, we have to get up there right so you're able to just jump from using this terrain over here unless it's been fixed if not then I don't know how to do this we could just jump across here and then pick up the magnifying glass and then plop it in there and now open up the waterfall there's a little animation here with these crystals and stuff I don't know what you're supposed to do here, to be honest. I don't know. Alright. Someone can explain it, maybe. I don't know. But, just it's really quick, this one. I don't know. It's a, I'm missing a puzzle completely, so... Alright, we got 12. So, 11, 12. That's our code right now. 11, 12. And then next, we have the maze. It's quite interesting, the maze. First part, first part's pretty easy. Second part, I don't, I guessed it correctly. All right, a lot of guessing I've done. All right, but I don't know if it's different for everybody. So we'll take a look. So I have 11, 12. Oh yeah, first I do this puzzle, which is fun. It's like, I'm not sure it's, di it's different for everybody too, but maybe. Oh yeah, it's different. So this will, this doesn't really matter, but you have to um, just use connect the colors that's the same. So yellow and they can't overlap each other so you just gotta make sure they have enough uh, room for every color there we go got the gate open 
and then we're gonna, you know, walk around here to the gate, and there's a note on the gate. There's four panels on the floor, so it says find the secret entrance, and what you need to do is take the first letter of each of the words, so F, T, S, E, and put them in that order. So we have F, right, first one, and then next one is uh, T, so I think T is over here, or the diagonal, yeah. And then S, E, so it's just diagonal from each other. So F is diagonal from T, and then S is diagonal. S is diagonal from E. So it's a long walk around, but whatever. Find the secret entrance. And then we're gonna go all the way around again to E. And that open up the first part. Now the next part is weird. I guessed it correctly somehow. I don't know how, but it's just like I don't even, I don't even want I wanna know how I know, but I just did it magically. Alright, so the, here's the here's the thing. So it's x equals two and then four zero one three. Now well how I guess this, so the x equals two doesn't make any sense to me. But I, so there's a bunch of letters here and so I just put X as the first one, right? And I thought about the alphabet. No, I don't please I don't know how but what I thought it was that, I don't know, I just, uh, I thought about the alphabet, and so, basically, I just, like, okay, well, four is the largest number, so I'll pick the number that's the furthest down in the alphabet, basically, and that's, uh, that's uh, how I figured it out, basically. It's kind of dumb, but so yeah, I went with um... so yeah with that explanation. We're gonna go and put the code in. I'm sorry for just standing there. <laughs> so I went X, then I went uh, I went M because it's the it's the furthest, and then I went and it was zero. So then I went to C, then D, then I, basically. So I went C, D, and then I went to I, and I don't know how, I don't know why it's correct, but it's correct. So we're just gonna go and enter that. I don't know, I don't know how, I don't know, I don't know. That's my guess. And we have three as our maze clock number. Now we take those numbers that we learned and put it on this over here. So it was, for myself, it was 3, uh, 11, 12. And there we go, magic, magic barrier has fallen. I have to put a sound code in. Now, I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna, let me try to figure this out before I like, look up myself there. So. We had to listen to this. So I think it's this one. There we go. So those four. So it's. I'll show it again. Unless you want. To, unless that was good enough, but. That's how you get the egg, and well, we're not done yet, but we have to exit, which is a, another long walk there. So, pick it up, touch it, and then I'll show it again. So it's ding, 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 and then these two at the end. That's it, and that's uh, that's the code for the sound. And now we have to walk out. And that will get us the egg, and that's how you do it. So the only thing that's random is these numbers. You gotta remember from each of them. Just, just write, maybe write it down, or I don't know, type it in the chat, maybe. That will help a lot, I think. That's probably your best bet, because it's, it's, it'll be in-game kind of thing. So that's probably your best thing to do. 
but it was, you know, it's a pretty quick glide. It felt 15 minutes of like, explanation, and I took a little bit longer because I, I just want to make sure that I was correct on the maze thing. But I should just went with my gut again. But there we go. We finished that one there. Well, there we go. That's the Chantum Forest. Hopefully that helped. I don't know. But, yeah.